we're here today to talk about uh, 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 event lighting and specifically up lighting and textures and pin spots. Up lighting is part of event lighting, which is more of the, um, the overall term that we use when we go into light a actual venue. Up lighting is what you see behind me and that's a, that's a magenta wash using LED, uh, using LED fixtures and it's a, it's a solid wash. It goes up against walls, maybe some drapery, and it, and it, it gives you that, that warm, fuzzy feeling when you walk in that, it's, uh, that there's something special that's actually going on in the room. There are different options that you've got when you do up lighting. Um, we have the bar lights, like I'm using uh, now, and we also have what are called par cans. Those are smaller, round cans, and those give more of a column of light as opposed to a full, even, even wash. Those are used if the venue that you're in has some uh, striking architectural features that we'll want to highlight, mostly, you know, thin, narrow spaces like a column or, or, or some, some other structure that, that um, needs to be highlighted. Everything can be controlled via an iPad. Um, so if you do want the colors to change, we don't always suggest that it does, but if you do want the colors to change, there's a technician there who just takes his iPad and changes the actual color. Uh, while we're on that topic, it's really easy to get tacky with this really quick, and one of the easiest ways to do that is um, by changing the color in your room. We normally suggest if you want to change the color that you change it once, maybe from cocktail hour into dinner. Anything more than that, it's going to start looking like you've got multiple things going on, and it's going to look more like a high school dance or a rave rather than a high-end elegant wedding. One of the most important things that you can do uh, if the venue is, um, the venue has higher, higher ceilings, maybe uh, uh, a large air wall or some, you know, some area that is basically boring, um, we can do what's called a texture, and that's uh, a, a shape or a pattern that's projected onto the wall, and it sort of hides in plain sight some of the ugliness that can happen in any room. Um, air walls can be that way, uh, where they sort of stand out. And with this, you're actually lighting it, it becomes an element in the, in the room that, um, even though it's not something that you first looked at when you looked at the room, uh, it now becomes a, a, a part of the, of the room that is, um, that's a striking element in the room. Textures need to be done in a room that has reasonably high ceilings, um, and that's pretty much venue specific.